Hello, I'm Sumia Yasmin, co-founder and managing editor of Education World. 2024 is a milestone year for Education World as it enters its 25th year. In November 1999, Education World was launched with the ambitious objective to build the pressure of public opinion to make education the number one item on the national agenda. Since then, for almost a quarter century, we have told the stories of thousands of educationists philanthropists, teachers, edupreneurs, and NGOs working unsung and often in opposition to interfering politicians and bureaucrats to raise teaching learning standards in the country's schools, colleges, and universities. Over the next 10 months, I will be taking you through the history of Indian education over the past 25 years as witnessed, observed, and recorded by Education World. In this First episode, I'll be taking you through the years 1999 to 2001. In November 1999, in our very first issue against the global Y2 scare, we reported and recorded the confidence within the Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta, that the global panic was unwarranted. Other major news events recorded over November and December 1999 were unprecedented funds crunch in Delhi University, the central government's showpiece university. The groundbreaking public report on basic education was released, highlighting the lack of basic facilities in government schools. We also reported on boom in medical transcription courses, imperative for vocational and professional education, and the need for a national education loans policy. In the millennium year, for the first time ever in India, Education World cover stories beamed the spotlight on the country's best education institutions, including the Indian Institute of Science, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, and National Law School, Bangalore, and reported on education trends and issues such as e-learning revolution, digital divide in schools, sex education in area of darkness, and the spreading student stress epidemic. We also faithfully recorded the major education events and trends of 2000. The major events of 2000 were CBSC introduced its millennial reforms and a new frontline curriculum. The National University of Juridical Sciences was inaugurated in Kolkata, the third after national law schools in Bangalore and Hyderabad. Delhi High Court, in a landmark judgment, quashed a section of the Delhi School Education Act which sanctioned corporal punishment in schools. The National Curriculum for School Education 2000 was released by the NDA government, led by Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, but it attracted much criticism for saturnization of education. In 2001, Education World continued to spotlight the country's best and role model K-12 and higher education institutions, including St. Stephen's College, Delhi, National Institute of Design, Ahmedabad, and Woodstock School, Missouri and highlighted major education trends and phenomena, such as emergence of new higher study, foreign education options, time to end license permit quota raj in higher education, and the emergence of a new tribe of education consultants. Major education events of 2001 were, the Ministry of HRD and NCRT announced a proposal to introduce a comprehensive and continuous evaluation system for all classes up to class 10. The NDA government, led by Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, launched the Sarva Shiksha Abhyan, or Education for All campaign, to strengthen and provide fundamental, foundational primary education to all children. In a landmark event of 2001, Parliament passed the 93rd Constitution Amendment Bill, now renumbered to the 86th Amendment, making free education a fundamental right of all children in the 6 to 14 age group. 